All right, welcome back everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. Let's talk about stiff knees. Stiff knees can be caused by lots of things, including an up to structural damage of the knee. So you may need to get checked out to make sure everything's good before you start doing this stuff. But I wanna talk about the most common cause of stiff knees, which is just basically tight muscles. So I'm gonna show you a couple things you can do to release muscles that should give the knee joint some more play and loosen everything up. You are gonna need a little bit of equipment. I'm gonna be using this guy, which is basically just a roller. Large size, small size, depending on how much pressure you need. You don't have to buy one of these fancy things. You can go to a home improvement store and get a piece of PVC pipe in various different dim uh, dimensions, six inch, four inch, two inch, whatever is fitting for the amount of pressure you need, and then wrap that in like athletic tape. That'll give some traction. And that's a good cheap substitute for a fancy tool like this. Let me show you how to do these exercises and alleviate stiff knees. All right, so we're gonna do a quad release first. I'm actually gonna be using the bigger of the two just for less pressure on this. So the quads are the muscles on the front of your thigh if you're not familiar with anatomy. And they're a major, major cause for stiff knees. So we wanna loosen up your quads and get some extra room for your knee so that it doesn't feel as stiff and things are sliding easier through the quad. So you're gonna take whatever you're using as your roller. If you have a foam roller, you can use a foam roller. Uh, eventually, it's probably not gonna be enough pressure to affect change. We're not gonna be doing just a standard roll out your quads kind of thing here. You're gonna move around and you're gonna find until there's a spot where it's painful to add pressure. And then what I want you to do is just maintain pressure there and you're gonna bend your knee back and forth to work that, that adhesion out. You're making the muscle slide through a, a compressed area, which is gonna help release that tissue. And you're just gonna do this for a minute or two. We don't want this to be 10,000% pain. You want something that's relatively uncomfortable, but not really painful. And you just wanna do this until you uh, feel a release of the muscles. and you can roll your hip around so that you're hitting inside, middle, and outside of your quad and focus on the area that needs the most attention. On me, it's the outside of my quad here on the right leg. So you can just play around back and forth like this and get those muscles to release. That'll take the tension. Oop, there goes my neighbor. That'll take the tension off the knee and allow some extra space in the knee joint and allow your quads to slide more freely. That's movement number one. The second one is gonna be for your calves. You're gonna be doing the same thing and I've shown some calf releases before. Um, this is another one that you can add to your little toolkit of tune-up stuff. So I'm gonna use the big one. Honestly, for me, I probably need the smaller one, but that's okay. You're gonna take your little roller and get your calf on there and roll around until you feel a spot that feels tight. And then depending on how much pressure you can take, you can lift yourself up, you can cross your leg over your other leg to add pressure. And what you're gonna do is find that spot, add as much pressure as is reasonably uncomfortable, and then you're just gonna flex your foot. And again, working on the same concept as what we did with the quad, this is gonna make your your muscles and your lower legs slide through a compression and help release those tissues. Uh, it seems kind of silly that this would help your knee, but the gastrocnemius, one of your calf muscles, actually crosses over your knee joint. So if you have tight calves, it can cause problems with your knee. Also having uh, a tight ankle will cause problems with your knee. And these are commonly tight on people. So it's, it's a handy release to have in your back pocket. And same deal, you can rock your foot side to side to find different areas of tension and focus on that and just keep moving your foot around nice and slow. You're not gonna race through this. You want those muscles to have to slide through the contraction, not just bulldoze through it. And doing this regularly will help release these muscles. 
don't overdo it because this is compression and you are working these muscles and breaking up these adhesions, it will probably cause some soreness. So take your time, do a little bit at a time, release the muscles and then maybe go for a short walk just to reset those muscles and have you help your nervous system remember the new range of motion and remember that they can be relaxed in those positions. But releasing your quad and releasing your calves can do a lot to alleviate stiff knees. That's it, just some quick release exercises. If you liked the video, smash the thumbs up. If you know somebody you can benefit from it, share the video with them. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Till next time, keep your life in motion.